just have a look at it just to compile it yes there is no issue there is no issue <clears throat> why because you declared as an int so it is the, the compiler is uh, accepting uh, the data types which is uh, uh, integer and float and double so these are uh, relevant like that it is accepting when there is a printf uh, statement when there is a printf statement it is considering okay so when there is a printf so it is accepting with zero errors so obviously what could be the answer garbage value why it is garbage value now tell me the compiler is accepting but when it comes to the execution level it is not accepting so previously what we got we got the zero answer right instead of uh, uh, three we got zero so like that only so the compiler is accepting but the when it comes to the execution level it is not possible when there is a different type because i declare float and i have taken as uh, d instead of f instead of f i have taken d so if you take as an integer and if you put f then also it will compiles but when it comes to the execution level it is not executing you are getting zero answer if you want to see once again just to see it once so i want to just make it as a uh, this is f and this is int only it compiles with zero errors it compiles with zero errors <clears throat> but when it comes to the execution level the answer is zero that's all you are getting zero so the compiler is accepting the compiler is accepting with zero errors so just uh, make a note of these things so i think uh, the previous doubts are clarified so whenever you have taken printf state uh, statement so in that printf statement it is accepting but when it comes to the execution level it is not accepting because we are not getting exact answers i think someone is waiting so this is what ma so when you declare int when you uh, declare inside the main function as a float it is taking but it is not uh, giving the exact answers sometimes it may give but it depends upon the program so now in this case it is only the function uh, only print up statement we have taken so in this case it is not valid so it is not it is uh, displaying as zero as answer why because you mentioned as int you have taken the value as float uh, one second yeah so so i'll move to the next level i'll move to the next level because the nowadays the compilers are accepting these things okay so now
int a comma b comma c comma <coughs> b. Comma sum comma average. Next, int f. Enter the value of a. Enter the value of a. <coughs> Scan up. And if percentage B, <clears throat> yeah. next print of. Enter the value of B. And if Percentage D. D. Next, print F. Enter D. Value of scan if percentage D So we have one more uh, variable b right okay print f print f enter the value of scan f Percentage D. Okay. So now tell me what is going to be happen now? If I compile this, is it uh, uh, compiles with zero errors? Is it compiles with zero errors? Man?
are you with me ma if i compile this program is it compiles with zero errors because we are in the middle of the program we have not completed it because we have taken some as uh, average we have two more variables we have taken some and average so till now we have taken only a b c d is it compiles with zero errors or not yes yes but we won't get any answer it will ask you to enter the value a it will take the value from the user it will ask you the value of b it will takes the value from the user so like that it will take the all the values it will ask and it will take the values of respected variable values from the user but uh, we won't get any output for this so after uh, entering those values we won't get any output because the program is like that so now now what is our intention our intention is to perform some and average right so what to do now so now the variable values are available now what should we do sum equals to sum equals to a plus b plus c plus now this is done sum we have done so we'll get the value of sum no 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 we won't get it will uh, it will do the sum but it is not visible to you right so what should we do now we need to make a print of statement print of sum the sum is okay sum of a comma a comma c comma b is equals to percentage b right percentage b what is the value so yes now it will prints what is this sum so okay this is done now i want average also right average equals to a plus b plus c plus d now we need uh division right uh what is that the division yeah. so better uh, you put it uh, in the bracket Because otherwise we will get the issue. Next uh, average is done, but you have to see the output, right? So print f. Next. Print f the average. You can write it uh, average total also to uh, elaboration also. Average here yeah. the average of the average of comma 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 b is equals to percentage b comma average
And now, just to compile this, zero errors, no issue. Just to run this program. <clears throat> what it will ask first? Okay, put this slash and actually we forgot to put this slash and I'll put there. Okay, now save it, now compile it, no issues, now run it. Oh, enter the value of EA. So I uh, assume that I have given 10, um, enter the value of B, 20, enter the value of C, I have given 30, enter the value of D, 40. See, sum of, uh, a comma b comma c comma d is 100 and the average is 100 by 4 100 by 4 is 25 so this is a sample uh, program so which will ask from the user so otherwise you can directly declare what is the value of a comma b comma c instead of asking you from the user <coughs> you can directly declare also you can directly you can directly uh, declare also a equals 10 b equals 20 that is also there is no need to write uh, these uh, values again uh, that is scan of scan of so the, the size of uh, the program will reduce because the, we don't have any scan of right at the times if you declare uh, directly integer a equals 20 directly also you can declare you want to see uh, just uh, make a screenshot of this If you want to make average as a float, you can do it as a float. Float. Now just to save it. Now for example, now change the values. Uh, just uh, compile this, zero errors. Now run this, enter the value of A, for example, 14, enter the value of B, 12, enter the value of C, 13, 14. Now see, what happened, ma? the sum is correct, no issue. If you do the sum, there is no issue, but when it comes to the average we declared as a float and we have given d so it is compiled yeah i want to uh, remind you once again ma. so it is compiling but uh, when it comes to the execution we are getting the wrong answer why because we have to declare f here instead of d so it is not showing error why because it is not showing error of course, we declare the average as a float. Here we mentioned as average and it is D. Right? But it is compiling. It is compiling, but we are getting wrong answer. Now just uh, do the changes CF. Now just to check it. 
Now you will get the exact answer. Compile, no issues. Just run this. Now what is the value we have given? 12, 14, 13, 14, 33. Now the average is 30. Is it right now? Sir, yeah. Sir, in line sixteen. In line sixteen, okay. Uh, after uh, a plus b plus c plus d. Okay. After the slash, sir. Uh, now okay. add. Uh, now in brackets add float, sir. Okay. 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 We declare as a float, right? Okay, no issue. Now we'll get in points. Okay, previously we have not got it. There is no errors. What are the values we have taken? Uh, 12, 14, 13, 14, 53, right? Yes, 53. Okay, previously we is it only 13.00s? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, right. <laughs> so like this. So when you want to enter uh, number of values for uh, four uh, variables, uh, this is the length of the program. So to avoid this such of uh, lines, the number of lines are more right so we'll go for looping concept we'll go for looping concept uh, so when we start uh, the continuation of the second unit so there we will see some of the programs so at present we have to write like this only right if you want to remove you can remove these all scanf if you don't want to ask from the user you can remove all scanf if you uh, remove all these printfs also you can directly declare what is the a value b value just i will show it to you once just i will remove all these lines the code will be reduced to the number of lines are reduced now directly i'll declare the values here itself a equals to uh, what I have given uh, some 12 first given, right? Next, B equals to I have given uh, 12, 14, 14. C equals to C equals to I have given uh, 13, I think. 13. Next, uh, uh, D equals to uh, D equals to fifty three. We need right fourteen. 14. fourteen. Yes. Yeah. Fourteen. Now see, we'll get the same answer, but the code is reduced. Just uh, compile it. Zero errors. Now directly uh, run it. It don't ask from the user directly. It prints the answer. Same answer we got. So if you want to ask from the user, you need to write like that. So in, in order to understand what is what you are asking from the user, that's why we need to add printout for uh, printf for every scan of. Why we are adding those printf? Because what you are asking, user has to understand, right? So that's why enter the value of A, enter the value of B, 
so those printfs are not required if you want to ask directly you can uh, put the direct scanfs but the user won't understand what to enter what to enter user don't understand so that's why we have taken the number of lines are more okay uh, uh, okay that i will show it to you once that that also i will show it to you once okay so after this uh, we have taken a printf statement of that scanf right now i won't take any printf direct i will take scanf scanf percentage d <clears throat> yeah. next scanf percentage d next scanf percentage d Next scanner. Something D. the difference between the first program and the th this one so for every scanf we have taken the printf right so now we have reduced the code so we have uh, removed yeah yeah yes slash in here. slash in mm. slash in. okay Slashing. 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 Now, just to save it, compile it. No issues, now run it. See, nothing is appearing on the screen. So you have to understand yourself and you have to write. So what I have to write? So I need to enter the value of E because I know the, the code, right? So I will enter, first I have taken 12, right? 12. Next, uh, 14 I have taken. Next, I have taken 30. Next, I have taken 14. No, no, no. One second, no. See for scan of uh, just uh, remove this uh, slash and see the stones. There nothing. Okay. No issue. No compare it. No issues. Run it. No. 12, uh, 14, 14, 14. Okay, because uh, if you uh, put slash in the scanf, 
see scan of means so it is asking the uh, value from the user right so that's why you should not use uh, slash f in scan of uh, statements only in printfs you use uh, slash n one don't use uh, slash n in the scan ups so same answer we got sum is 53 the average is 13 so we have seen three different uh, things right so without uh, printf and scan of statements you have seen without print of statements you have seen without print of scan of directly you entered these values so that's what so but uh, you need to understand you need to understand uh, in this case you can write like this also you can write uh, enter the value enter the value of e. sorry how to put only single line icon Just we'll see. I think uh, this phone works here because uh, slash the slash comes here. Yeah. not to understand the user so in order to understand the user you can write like that so just uh, save this now compile this no issues so enter the value of e so uh, some new person came and uh, he is asking so what is this scan f means so enter the value of e it is but it is in the code itself it won't ask from the uh, it won't print on the screen it won't print on the screen for the sake of understanding only you have to write like this right <coughs> so like this uh, we have uh, programs man. so i think uh, these are the examples enough i think so shall i start uh, a second unit shall i continue the second unit man? or shall i do some more examples These are the basic programs we have uh, discussed so far and we have executed so far. The looping concept we have uh, in the operators, uh, uh, relational operators, those things we have. But uh, when you uh, keep on studying the next level, next to next level topics, so there again we have to do it. So that's why I am not uh, uh, doing those examples. So that is for loop, while loop. So that kind of things I have not taken right now. So in the upcoming classes, uh, again, we need to discuss, right? So there we will do that, uh, that kind of programs. Otherwise, if you want, uh, I can go with one program with uh, a looping concept also, if condition. Shall I do that one? Okay. Shall I do it? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll show it to you. So we have discussed some statements, if statements, those things also we have discussed, right? Right. So what I'll do is
So for the sake of understanding, what I'll do is I'll put if I'll put if a equals to zero. If a equals to zero, else See, now just to save this. So what do you, what do you uh, understand uh, by seeing this one? If A equals to zero, if A equals to zero, then only it will enter into, enter into the loop. If loop, right? Sir, we already assigned the A as zero now. Yes. Yes, so, so that, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come to you. So that's why it will print this one only, right? No, no, just I'll show, I'll come back to you. Why? Wait, just I'll come back to you. So there is no error, just run this. The answer, the same values have you taken or have you changed some values? It is uh, showing 37, 37 by four, uh, it is nine point, okay, right. No issue, the calculations are perfect. We need to check the values. The sum is 37, average is 9.25. Yes, so it is not uh, showing the else part, right? Now, now I will clarify your doubt. I think your doubt is clarified. Now compile it. No issues. It will show enter valid value. Enter valid value. Why? Because it won't enter into the if loop. It won't enter into the if loop. Are you following? So we can change uh, this if condition to many values also. A only we have taken, right? So A equals to zero, B equals to something, C equals to something. So I can uh, extend this if condition also. That's what uh, the statement we have uh, in the theory concept we have discussed, right? So not only A, we can go with B, C, D. Also we can include in this if condition. If four are satisfied, then only it will enter into the if loop in that case. Right. So for this example, the answer is enter valid value. Why? Because uh, if condition is A equals to zero, then only it will enter. So if I make it as 10, now again, we'll get the only this will be executed. We won't get else part now. We won't get else part. Sorry, we have uh, 
wait more we have saved but uh, yeah I think you understood the if condition. Yeah. Shall I do some more on if condition? If a equals to 10. And b equals to equals to 12. And C equals to C equals to thirteen, right? Okay, thirteen. <coughs> and C equals to uh, twelve. Now see, is the syntax is correct, ma? If yes, A equals to Yeah. So now four values we have taken. Those four values, if four values matching with this if condition, then only it will execute the sum and the average. This compile, no issues. Now just run. Yes, we got the same answer. We got the same answer. So you can extend the if condition. A, B, C, D. Assume that uh, I have changed the D value as 30. Just observe this. Observe carefully. Man. Now just I have changed the D value as 13, but I declared the D value as 12. Now what I'll get? I'll get enter valued value. Compiles, zero errors. Now run it. Enter value. Why? Because it is not matching with the if condition. Because the d value is 13, but I declared as 12. So that's why it won't enter into this if condition loop. Okay, ma. So this is about the if and else condition. So if the condition is satisfied, then only it will enter into the loop. Otherwise, it won't enter into the loop. So don't get confused, ma. The braces I have taken here. Don't get confused. So this is the brace. If it is one line, so that's why there is no requirement of uh, braces. If it is more than one line, we have to go with the uh, braces, ma. So don't get confused here also, ma. Like that. But just to save this again compile this no errors you will get the answer as enter valid value if you just do the small changes 13 here now just to save this now just uh, compile this no issues just run this yes Is it clarified, Ma? 
so like this uh, we'll go with one huh? so if it is a single statement then there is no need to use the braces if it is more than one statement definitely you have to use the braces so here uh, we have only one statement again i have used it assume that now i am removing this now i am removing this now also it works why because there is only one statement if it is more than one i will add one more thing now show it i will show it to you printf now in this case i i can go with put slash n because uh, one more uh, we are adding right so i'll write printf Mm, one more uh, something whatever you want to write you can write uh, enter valued value uh, enter enter write write values are uh, uh, enter matching values Can uh, slash. I can put slash and not a problem. Yeah. Now it shows some error. Now you will get the error. Why? Because there should be. Uh, if it is more than one uh, statement, you have to put the braces. You have to put the braces. Try this; it won't works. Won't works. Just compile it. Okay, no issue. According to the syntax, no issue. No, no, it is not uh, like that, ma. Actually, you have to uh, enter this. The compiler is accepting, but uh, you should not uh, get like that. Okay, we have not changed any value, right? Uh, I'll change this. I'll do the changes here. Okay, this time I'll uh, change this B value. I'll put eleven. So L spot will we have to get right? Enter valid value. Enter matching value. If there is no slash n, we'll get in the same line. Assume that. Just remove this slash n. I'll save it. We get the answer in same line. Continuous. Okay, man. So I'll put the slash in here. Okay. So like this, uh, we have the friend uh, else condition. Uh, the compiler is accepting, but uh, uh, generally, if it is more than one statement, we have to use the uh, braces. Now that you need to remember. Okay. So I think uh, that's all for today. We'll see tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow, what should I start with? Shall I continue the second unit or shall I go with the uh, rest of the operators also? If condition else is over, next to what do while do while, and we have continuous things, right? Shall I do that? Yeah, respond quickly, man. So, what should I do tomorrow? Shall I continue the second unit or shall I do the rest of the programs also? Do while and the if condition is uh, that looping concept for loop while loop.
sir increment decrement operator did not complete okay so tomorrow i will show it that increment and decrement i will show it to you tomorrow after that uh, shall i continue the second unit or you want me to complete that to do while concept because we have discussed so many things the break concept break statement do while and uh, in that uh, uh, for loop we have some more uh, concepts we have discussed all right So okay, tomorrow I will show you to that increment and decrement. So just uh, think about it and uh, tell me uh, uh, if.